Hi there, it's Ross from KWS UK. We're back in our uh, our bolting trial that we last visited back in February when we drilled it. Um, you can see we've had a lot of a lot of growth since then. Uh, yeah, some beet that was drilled back in the in the second week of February, um, and you can also see some differences in our genetics in uh, in the bolters that we have. So here, these three rows, you can see quite clearly. There's really really strong bolting. It's gone mad. It's gone absolutely mental it's uh, <laughs> this genotype really really is uh it seems like it's really susceptible to bolting um whereas the, in the plot to the left here uh we've got next to no bolting at all um it's like this throughout the entire field uh we've got a lot of genotypes that seem to be really susceptible to bolting but a lot of genotypes that are also seem to be relatively resistant now where we've created a lot of work for ourselves this year by having to having to pull all of these bolters uh, we've actually generated a lot of good data for ourselves what breeders tend to look for is uh, is differences in data and as we look across the field we can just see we can see enormous amounts of differences there's a lot of genotypes that are very susceptible to bolting but a lot of stuff that looks like it's going to hold strong so uh, in this bolting trial we've got over 4,000 plots looking at different genotypes and a few weeks ago we will have uh, come to this field and counted every single plant in every single plot to give us an idea or gather data on how many plants are in each plot so about 4,000 plots but roughly about 100 to 120 in every plot so that comes out to about 480,000 plants that have all been counted individually in this field then we started to see signs of bolting in the field we came back and we moved through each plot again and count the number of bolters individually in each in each plot and then we'll come along and pull each plant individually to uh to make sure one it's not counted again and two it doesn't set seed for next year and make a mess of the field for the farmer so as we move through the plot um looking for bolters we need to be really diligent about the uh uh the inspection of the plants um we can see here there's a there's a plant that's quite clearly bolting there it's got that that thick stem shooting up and the flowering head starting there um, however there are more inconspicuous bolters hiding among the foliage here uh, so a plant like this as well its flowering head is just starting to come up and we need to make sure we look for that and check that too because it's all valuable data for the breeders to together so as you can see we've got a decent team of people out here working with us today on, uh, to complete this project um, we're going to come back and do the same counts twice more over the course of the summer to gather more and more data about these different genotypes um, and that will hopefully allow us to bring more bolting resistant varieties to the market to help farmers uh, be more versatile in their sowing dates